nice tip frame build. We're gonna go through some work tips. Hopefully they help. Subscribe to the channel. Tell me if you like it or if you don't, let me know why. Okay, when we're doing our window openings, our bottom timber, I always like to have a timber just underneath it to take, to take support. Double at the side, underneath the lintel. One up the side, just take, twist out the lintel. If you can get one at the bottom, that's really good for the plasterboard, and on the outside picks up the ply. Same as putting a little rip there. Um, also, sometimes you have to, if you're putting um, bolts in it and you get the domes, it's really good because it's hidden within that space, and then the outside will be plying battens, so it also hides it. On here, we've put a piece of ply underneath to make all the window heights the same, and the reason is over where we had the glue lab beams, we had to put seven inch timber. Instead of having a silly little noggin, it was just easy to pack it down with a bit of ply, so it makes it all solid and ties it in nicely. When we've done it like this, we've done three six by twos. They actually want a load of four by twos, but what we wanted to do is put six by twos on the side and rip it down. Um, that way, it's as wide as the glue lamp. And if we'd done it with four by twos like they originally wanted, it would have been it would have added up to one three five, and it would be really five mil less of the glue lamp beam. This way, we could put six by two down. Run a timber all the way up the side, that way it ties it all in, everything's solid. Coming along our stud walls, we've worked it out for the plasterboard, another plane. And what we try and do is, we try and do it so all the rafters will come down on the stud wall. There's a stud underneath. It doesn't matter too much because usually we'd have a double plate, we've actually done a triple plate at the top. But we like everything to sit solid, uh, it's just a good state of practice. Four timber post, post above, one either side, take the twist, tie everything in, and as you can see, even on our stud walls, all the way up, everything's sitting above each other, even the noggins at the top. Partition walls, toilets, what we've done is, we worked it out for um, studs either side, plasterboard, allowing enough for where the window detail is. Also, we're going to apply it today, so we're going to make sure that any cold spots where we put our stud walls, especially in the corners of the building, that we will put some insulation in. Right around, put some insulation in. Also, we're going to be applying the ply long ways because if you stagger them, we feel like it ties everything in a bit better. Um, we'll run a plane round as well, so anything sticking out, it just doesn't take much time, it's just a little bit of effort to stop any little bows. Quite a straightforward build, really. So, if there's any questions, please ask, I'll always get back. Joe, you can have a little walk around. Yeah, mate. cut all the feet and what we've done is we took an extra 45 mil off because we're going to put like a 6 2 timber and what we do is we put the angle on a 6 2 the same pitch as the roof and we run that all the way around so it's a backing board that way especially with a low level roof um, we can have it nice and straight there's no little whips um, especially the, the roof stand on it on that face and pushes it down that way we can also put our nails exactly where we want them to spread them out other good thing to think about is the v latches in here. We've doubled up the v latches. We've got to try and leave enough space for where the ply out stands and the box gutter goes. Also, we've got to think about how many tiles we get at the top and how that's going to work with the ridge. So it's trying to get the right maximum light in there, but also thinking about how everything's going to work with the details for the V-luxes, the box gutter, and all the tiles. So there's a little factors to think about. So what I usually do is, once I've got my plate in, uh, my sole plates, I'd pitch a pair of rafters up here. I'd mark everything out how, how it's gonna work. Work everything from the ground. So if there's any uh, questions to ask the architect, at least we can get onto that, and we can deal with that, and we can iron them out straight away. Good work tips, I hope it helps.